My name is Michelle Alum. I am 25 years of age. I am a volunteer with Scripture Union Uganda, a volunteer with UDIPA, Uganda Network of Young People Living with HIV, and I also volunteer for Athena Network, that is um, a movement that fights for the rights of adolescent girls and young women, especially against acts of gender-based violence. So that makes me a feminist, but also an HIV activist. Yes, thank you so much. So this morning, um, we'll be sharing from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7, and our main focus will be verse 12. Uh, this is a very common scripture to most of us. Um, I would have loved us to read from verse 1, but um, I'd like to concentrate on my main point of sharing this morning. So in this verse, um, you notice that after the series of events that had been happening from verse 1, uh, Samuel comes and he phrases, he makes a statement. This is how far the Lord has brought us. The nation of Israel had been through a lot. They had gone through a number of challenges. They had gone through a number of battles and they had won, they had lost. But I mean, they were still standing as a nation. And this was a moment for Samuel to just thank God. This was a catch statement for him. So um, I would like to relate this to many of us this morning, especially with the current situation. Many of us have been home since March because of the lockdown. Um, and by the time you sit back, you know, this is September and you really can't believe that I have been home since much. I mean, how, how have I done it? Uh, a few weeks ago, we were home, a few cousins of mine, and we were calculating, that was still August. We were calculating six months, guys, we've been home for six months. Who does that? And we looked at ourselves as heroes. It, it was it was not possible, but I mean, that is how Father Lord has brought us. Not just because we've, been, we've sat home, but how have we been surviving also in those six months from March to now we are in September? How have we been surviving? Where has the money for food come from? Where has the money for these other basic needs come from? I mean, it has been called. This is how Father Lord has brought us. So me... Um, from my point of view, I would like us to use this to thank God for everything, especially what we are going through right now. I know it is a point of tears for many people. It is a point of heartbreak. It is a point of uh, you know, discouragement. Many people don't see hope because, I mean, the, the, case, the increasing number of cases for the COVID-19 are still shooting, are still going high. Um, the deaths are also increasing by the day and yeah many people are really losing hope but there is an aspect of thanking god there is a good bit of it amidst all this and that is why we really have to thank god we have to thank god for where we are right now for he has brought us and even where we are going i mean we don't know what we are going to face ahead but it is necessary for us to thank god if you're watching me if you're listening to me, I would like you to know that uh, where you are right now, where you have been is really not what is defining you or what is or where you are going to remain for the rest of your life. Uh, we have to seek the Lord. We have to continue holding on to the Lord. We have to continue reading the word of God so that we can move from where we are, so that we can journey through where we are. The, 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 the road is really not smooth. I mean, it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough. I, <laughs> I've, I've, I've walked those, those journeys and it's really not easy. So, um, I have a friend of mine, he calls me a, he calls me a therapist. 
he was talking to me and telling me, Michelle, I have a challenge and I want you to help me get out of it. But I am addicted to this particular thing. I want to get out of it, but at another time, I don't want to get out of it. I mean, it's comfortable for me. So we started going through, doing some questions, and I was asking him, so how is your life without it? And he gives me a list of reasons, and I tell him, okay, so how, is, how do you find life with it? And he also gives me his reasons. And then I ask him, how do you think your life will be if you're not with this particular thing? And he really thinks his life will be useless or he thinks life will be hard. At one point, he thinks maybe things will be easy. He's in sort of that dilemma. <clears throat> but I told him, sometimes it's the choices we make that, you know, determine what happens to us. So if you really feel you want good at the end of the day, if you really feel you want to sit down and thank God at the end of the day that, yeah, you're grateful for what has happened to you. I mean, you have to take certain risks and leave what it is you're doing, even though it is hard. I mean, you just have to abandon them and yeah, so he's still in the process of deciding, but I know he will get there. So um, everything is about God, whether it is tough or it is easy. Oh, we are in the process of tough and easy. Everything is about God. Yes, yeah, so let's not forget God. Let's always continue persisting. Let's always continue praying, believing, hoping that everything will end. And surely everything will end. Thank you so much.